Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do 2D triangles. Now, 2D triangles is all the work you've learned on triangles. All they do is they usually give a word sentence associated with the triangles. Now look at the previous rules of triangles. We had said you'd always choose an angle, you'll mark your O, A and H, you'd look at what you have, and then you'd calculate it from there. If I was given maybe an angle in a side, I'll again choose my angle, mark what I want, I'll say side I want over side I have, get my ratio and use calculation. So the two methods are the exact same methods that you're going to use when you're doing 2D triangles. Right. They tell you that a man is standing 15 meters from the building. So they give us that that is 15 meters. What you should know is that buildings are not usually built except on 90 degrees. So you should know, okay, if there's a building standing there, the relationship with the building to the ground is 90 degrees. Now that is not said in the word sum. Then they tell you the angle of elevation is 25 degrees. Most of the time, the 25 degrees would be marked for you. So we know that there's an angle of 25 degrees from where the man is standing till the top of the building. What they want you to do is calculate the height of the building. So what do I want? I want to know the length of the side. That's what I want to know. So we're going to use the same rules. Choose our angle. We're obviously going to choose what they gave us. So I'm going to choose the 25 degrees. Then I'm going to mark my O, A, and H. So the 25 degrees opposite is my O. The 90 degrees opposite that is going to give my H. And the remaining side is going to be my adjacent. Now what do I have? I have an angle and a side. An angle and a side means I'm going to say the side I want over the side I have. All this has been previously done in our triangles. If you are not familiar with it, go back to, the, to this video before attempting 2D triangles. You'll see it says choose your angle, mark your O, A and H, side you want over side you have equal to the ratio. If you are not familiar with this, go back to that video and learn it before attempting 2D triangles. Okay. All right, so we have side you want, which is O. The side I want is my O over the side I have, which is my A. Now O over A, O over A is 10. So I'm going to make it equal to 10 and which angle did I choose? I chose 25 degrees. Then I'm going to substitute what I have. I don't have O. I have that A is 15. Multiply by 15, multiply by 15, press it into your calculator and you would have had that O is equal to 6,99. If you round it off, O is equal to 7. So the height of the building, so the height of the building is equal to 7 units. All 2D triangles work always with this method. Very rare they'll give you a different method. It's usually working with 90 degree triangles. Remember if you follow these rules where you choose your angle, you mark your O, A and H, you say side you want over side you have and you would be fine. Thank you for watching.